Well, staying on the economy, the markets are crashing, September ending down 8%, as we talked about. And we just mentioned that mortgage rates rose from 2 to nearly 7% in less time than it takes milk to go bad in the fridge. But seemingly, it was like the blink of an eye. And now America has essentially exported the worst parts of our financially difficult economy in this situation to Europe, ending this week with England suspending new mortgages, can't get any new debt. And if you own a house, it's worth 20% less. For more on this, and the economist from the board member overseers at Stanford University Hoover Institute, John Jordan. John, let's break some of this down. Uh, we had just asked our last guest about interest rates. Now, um, do we, they've risen quickly, um, but they have to because we arbitrarily kept them so low for like a decade. Do they, are they going to go up more? And if they do, do you think they should just get it out of the way and raise them by 5% right off the gate? Uh, I agree with Carla, your last guest. And by the way, go Navy. I um, was a naval officer myself. I uh, had to say that. So uh, I agree with her. You can't do it all at once. You have to kind of do it incrementally. Markets have to equilibrate. People have to adjust. You can't. You got to You got to boil the egg a little bit. So interest rates are going up, not just because of Federal Reserve's nominal rate raise. But keep in mind, the Fed also has to drain over $5 trillion worth of quantitative easing out of the economy right. from its bond buying program. But let me um, stop you there. The quantitative easing you're talking about, we printed 5 or $6 trillion. We have to make up for that. Yeah, it's got to think it's got to be it's got to be drained out of the system. We have too many dollars chasing too few goods. I, the, the administration is less focused on yeah. dealing with the fundamentals of the economy because their job has been to re remake American society. So inflation and all of the economic pain has just been a necessary evil for them. In a way, it's kind of like Winnie the Pooh saying, uh, as much as he missed Piglet, he really did enjoy that pulled pork sandwich. Right. So, uh, so yeah, so this has been the re-engineering of society. This is just a, 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 a feature, not a bug. Yeah. And, well, let's talk about the uh, the the fact that interest rates will need to climb and the fact that we're experiencing record high inflation. Talk to about this hedonic adjustment where, you know, the the inflation is the driving factor, but it doesn't have to be. No, it doesn't. But inflation is going to happen because the administration's policies on several fronts have been building it that way. And it's they wanted to pretend bought into this whole newfangled thing called modern monetary theory, which basically meant the government could grow, spending could uh, could grow unabated and there would be no con consequences. And then they bought into it so much they called it transitory for a while. Sure. And they still didn't see it. And so now we're paying now we're now we're paying the price. But this is part of them using the pandemic to try to remake Americans' expectations about society. Okay, what about servicing the debt? So we have over thirty trillion dollars in national debt. Um, and that is largely bought out through you know some other countries like China owns a ton of it, a couple trillion dollars of it. We have to pay interest on those loans in the form of bonds. Explain how that works and why that's a big problem. Well, China has been actually been unloading a lot of their um, of their their u s. treasury holdings. They're down to about a trillion now. Um, so what happens, you have obviously interest rates go up, bond prices, uh, you know, you people have to pay more to borrow. And so, so it's true with the federal government. But there's another dangerous part of this. And that is the Treasury, kind of, the U.S. government gets a discount on when it borrows because of its perceived uh, safety as an investment. Right. You know, a lot of older folks, the Depression era people love Treasury for that reason. But when bond markets and investors realize how hard it is for the U.S. government to finance debt, without massive tax revenue raises or massive and politically impossible spending yeah. cuts, bond markets are going to want a risk premium here, which hasn't really been baked into the Treasury market. And that's going to make this kind of a feedback loop that could be potentially very ugly. Yeah, if you're if you're a non I mean, look, America's like a triple A credit rating. We've historically paid all our debts or at least paid the interest on them to service them and things like that. Um, real quick, I got about 20 seconds left. Um, if we... Let's say we, we're, the, we're the global currency. Let's say we have problem paying it back. Then what? Well, man, then you're looking at a, a, a massive, massive disruption to credit markets because the risk premium for U.S. Treasuries is going to go way up. And not only that, it's going to be state and local governments. People can keep in mind that cities, school districts and states and all other manner of, of, uh, of governmental entities also borrow money. And then that's going to have the effect of crowding out a lot of private sector investment. It's going to have a devastating impact on the economy. Right. So keep in mind, if you want to attack uh, the prosperity of society, you go after two things. It's energy sources and debasing as currency. And that's what happens. 
And so I'd like to also give you a comment, but your questions are absolutely fantastic for the last couple of segments. You're a real pro. Yeah. Well, John Jordan, you gave us a, a lot in a little bit of time there. We appreciate you being here. Don't, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have you back to talk more about it. Look forward to it. All right, folks. Make sure that you catch the Trump rally, folks. It's going to be happening. You get, we cover it live all the time. Don't go anywhere. T tonight, 6 p.m., it starts. No crooked, crooked establishment. establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.